Hello, my beautiful Pisces. Welcome to your horoscope forecast for your weeklies. This is going to cover March 1st to the 7th. I want to thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, subscribing, and thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. Also, my beautiful darlings, if you're a fan of the mysteries or unsolved true crime stories, you may want to check out my second channel. It's called JWZ Mysteries, and all the information is in the description box below. Uh, the next couple things I'm going to be releasing on that channel, there's multiple things you guys to watch on there. The next couple things I'm going to be releasing is to do with some spooky stuff. So if you guys are a fan of spooky mysteries, you may want to check out that channel. And all the information is in the description box below. So we're going to be talking about your day to day, your love interest feelings, the blocks, delays, and challenges, and the overall outcome. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump in. It's going to buy Pisces Romantic Love Life for March 1st to the 7th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, so we got the Ten of Pentacles, we got the Ace of Swords, and we got the Ace of Cups. Wow, so far so good, right? Oh my goodness, the Tower card's coming out. Hierophant, Queen of Pentacles, and Five of Cups. Your love interest feelings is the Five of Swords. So obviously your, your love interest is feeling very defeated about what's going on with the connection. And uh, we see that there is a, a want to defend their position here. But we're going to go further in that in a minute. Uh, we got the Ace of Swords coming, uh, Eight of Swords coming out for the blockage, the Four of Pentacles, the Hangman energy, and the Magician being the final card. Wow, for the overall outcome. The bottom of the deck shows me that you're looking very attractive this week, and there's definitely someone you're weighing heavy on here with the Ten of Wands energy. It looks like they're trying to find that strength, courage, and confidence here in the connection or to come forward. So we see that your blockage is there's someone who is trapped in their thoughts. They have a sense that their hands are tied, like there's nothing they can do about it. And uh, it seems like for me, it seems like, uh, you know, with the, with the Eight of Swords energy, it's a lot about thoughts and it's about, you know how you get caught up in your thoughts and you can't stop thinking, like that's the Eight of Swords for me. It's like you're surrounded with thoughts and you keep going around in circles in those thoughts. This person seems like they're very hesitant or they feel like they are a little bit scared. That's what I'm getting from that card, okay? Um, it's like they're like, how do I overcome these obstacles, these boundaries, these restrictions? And it seems like this person is a little bit sad as well. That's what I feel like. There's like a little bit of a depressive kind of energy about it. Okay, so let's get more information. What is this Eight of Swords? What is this Eight of Swords for the blockage, please? Sweet. For Pisces, show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. There's worries and concerns, exactly what I felt, okay? About taking a power move, making a power move because of finances or because of another person, brother, uh, friend, uh, something to do with money. And we see something to do with a marriage or commitment or commitment to some good advice here needing some good advice or a person again, and some concerns about a loss. Okay. Some of you guys may be dealing with a family situation also this week, so let's see what's going on here because we see the Ten of Pentacles is the first card. The first card does represent family. It can represent abundance or a lot of something with the Ten of Pentacles energy. Something that about this situation, if we talk about it from the Ten aspect, something is accomplished or completed here on this day. Let's see what this is about. Okay, let's get more clarity here. Remember, this is going to be March 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, and 7th. Pisces, feel free, come back, check this out. Let me know how it plays out in your individual situations in the comments below. Let's get more information about this, okay? All right, let's use the Kipper as the clarifier here. What's gonna happen my Pisces Romantic Love Life for March 1st, 2 to 7? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, let's see what that's about. So there's something that you've been waiting for, something that is now coming. This could have been something you've been waiting for for two to three months because this is the two to three months expectation card. Okay, and uh, let's go further here. Let's get more information. So money, family, okay, long term, something you've been waiting for, something that's about to accomplish or complete. Okay, what's going to buy Pisces Romantic Love Life for March 1st to the 7th? 
Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. So there seems to be some worry, some anxiousness about this situation that you've been waiting for when it comes to family and long term. Okay, and that's what's going to happen on that day. So we see that Ace of Swords showing me getting clarity on the 2nd of March. You're getting answers and clarity. Okay, what's that about? About these worries and concerns. And you're really in a place of shock and surprise. You're finally feeling like you have some kind of breakthrough here. It looks like on the third, there is an offer of love coming in for you guys. So there is a true love connection or an offer of love or someone's letting you know that they love you. Ace of Cups energy. It is the main person here. Okay. They're apologizing. They're wanting to reconcile here with the reconciliation card. There's a healing energy around this. Okay, this is a huge breakthrough for you guys with the Tower Card energy. A real big game changer here with the Tower Card energy coming out on the 4th. Let's see that what that's about. Yep, you're really connecting with somebody on the 4th here. It looks like you're spending time together with someone here, intimate time together. It does look like it could be an ex-partner here coming out, okay? This is somebody that you were waiting on or distant from, okay? Because we see the ex-partner card and we see an apology coming in. We see that there is some kind of commitment, engagement, or marriage with the Hierophant card energy and making a power move towards this situation with the Emperor card energy. There could be also an uh, a situation with a father here, because for me this is like official person, authority figure, okay, some kind of sense of, of power control going on here, uh, which is causing some uncertainty here in the situation. Okay, so we have this motherly energy with the Queen of Pentacles, this very nurturing energy. Someone may be trying to give you some advice or support here with the Queen of Pentacles here coming out. We see that because uh, there's concerns about something hidden or deception or, you know, like you're feeling like maybe, you know, you want to confine with somebody and maybe don't want to speak everything to this other person. Okay. Um, so we're seeing that, yes, you're trying to get some kind of knowledge. You're getting a better understanding of the situation, okay? So we see that on the seventh here, there's a lot of focus on what has happened before. It seems like there's a person that really feels a lot of regret and really feels like they have a sense of loss here with the Five of Cups energy. They feel really bad. They feel like they've messed up. It looks like there is some work or effort being put into the situation uh, towards a commitment here, commitment to engage your marriage. So... Let's bring it all together. There was stress and anxiety and a big breakthrough here with an apology because of an ex-partner. We see there's uncertainty when it comes to you. So you're, you're trying to lean on others for support to get some kind of knowledge of whether or not you want to commit to this situation. Um, so let's keep going. Going to the bottom of the deck, there's a lot of deep, heavy soul searching here and hopeful energy to heal this connection because of this true love and making an effort which is still a little cautious and defensive. So we see here, there is this waiting or this expectation. So there's something you were waiting for. There was worries and concerns about a main person. We see a relationship and we see a power move being made. There's something hidden, uh, deceptive, or um, you know, concerns about some deceptions and putting the work or effort into this. Or maybe you're keeping your thoughts to yourself at the moment before you put the work or effort into this because there's, there's still a lot of reflections on the, the regrets about the past. So we see family and long term and some kind of clarity about love. A big huge breakthrough here, a shock and surprise about a marriage. We see advice being gotten here, a patient energy, a contemplation about the long term and a lot of focus on what has happened before by the cups energy. Okay, how does your love interest feel about you? If this is the same person, they feel very defeated. They uh, want to present some kind of opportunity to you to be able to um, uh, defend their position with the uh, Seven of Wands energy. We see that there is this mother energy and uh, sharing some thoughts here of how to heal the situation. And we see again this mother energy and a sense of confusion about the situation and uh, wanting to be very happy here in the connection. So I get the sense that there may be a mother infringing upon the connection somehow, or someone who's trying to come off very nurturing and supportive, um, but it's like it's almost like they feel like this person's kind of getting in the way of the connection. Oh. 
Okay, so we see the blockage is the Eight of Swords. You guys are listening to your intuition, trying to get some kind of confirmation here. We see there's a house and a family also that could be a part of this situation or a sense of wanting stability, stableness, okay? Needing to make a choice. Do I want to put the effort into this as part of the blockage? Let's see the overall outcome here. Overall outcome is saying, okay, Pisces, I want to hold on to you, okay? But there seems to be this stuck energy, right? A sense of needing to make a sacrifice. They're feeling stuck in the middle here. It does show me that the person wants you because they see you as their ideal partner. This could have been something you've manifested to with the magician card energy. There is massive changes coming in for you guys this week when it comes to a commitment, engagement, or marriage, which you will have to make a decision about, okay? There is a, a, a sense of appreciation or giving to some good advice or getting some good advice here because of this loss. We see that this person wants to hold on to you. They're letting you know that their feelings are real and worth exploring. It looks like you're going to have to make a decision about this very soon. This person is letting you know that they miss you. We see that you guys are spending some time alone or this person you were isolated or separated from because of some kind of family conflict. We see this person has strong desires and a strong attachment towards you. I see that you're gonna get some communication here, but you're gonna be a little bit of a crossroads here because there's so many regrets about what happened. I get the sense this person is telling you that they're gonna be heartbroken about the situation and they cannot stop thinking about you. They're strongly attached to the situation and they can't sleep. They have a lot of sleepless nights without you. Your person is very strongly attracted to you with the King of Wands energy, and we see they're trying to make some kind of power move here towards a happy outcome. Okay, so let's get some advice for you guys. So as I said, this is a person you were distant from. Uh, there was an issue here. This person you could have been married to, separated from. Um, definitely looks like the issue is something to do with family issues here. Still seems like family still seems to be playing a part with some of these things and it still feels like it needs to be resolved there. So let's get some more information here. And or a family didn't really approve of the person. That could be the case too. Um, either your family or their family. All right, so can I have some advice from my Pisces when it comes to the romantic love life for March 1st to the 7th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. Take some time from the world. Spend some time alone. Meditate. Go on a retreat. Give yourself some time alone to really think about things. Spirit is saying be open to receiving goodness and believe in the impossible here. Know the abundance is coming. The gift is on its way. So you are going to receive uh, a sense of abundance here. You are receiving some blessings here. So get ready for that. And it definitely has to do with a partnership and a relationship, okay, here, because we see the partnership card coming out. You're receiving a blessing in this relationship, okay? You can go with the flow here and bring things into balance if you choose to, but you always have freedom of choice, Pisces. Spirit wants you to be in balance, so take some time to relax, indulge yourself a little less, set your boundaries and what you want. Because of these things from the past, it is time to release some of the past life karma, some of these uh, deeper aspects that uh, may be affecting your vibration. You wanna heal these things so you can have a higher vibration going into this. Be compassionate and be gentle with yourself and forgive yourself, which can help you set yourself free. Because if you're indifferent about a situation, a lot of times we're gonna make a better decision because we're not gonna be in an emotional state, we're not gonna be in an angry state. We're gonna be more of in a neutral state. And that's where spirit wants you to be. Spirit wants you to be in a very neutral state when making this decision when it comes to this person. Because there's so many issues here that could trigger you, that could put you in, you know, in a bad mindset. You want to focus on raising your vibrations, giving yourself to think some time to think about this before this happens so that you're prepared for it. Yes, Spirit is saying that things are happening at the right time. 
and that it is something you have manifested. This is a wish that you want it and it's coming true. And there is going to be a lot to celebrate here with the dance card. Okay. So my beautiful Pisces, I love you guys so much. And again, if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. Next time you see me, I will be on camera. Um, so uh, my darlings, um, I love you guys so much. And yes, I love hearing from you guys in the comments below. So if you feel comfortable, I would love to hear from you guys in the comments below. If this resonates with you, if you wanna claim this reading, or if you feel comfortable sharing your own personal situation with me, I do read my comments, guys. I do love hearing from you. Um, so I do look forward to that. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in another date or two. Have a great rest of your next couple days and I hope you have a beautiful day or night wherever you are. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys soon.